He looks like he's got really bad plastic surgery on his nose. Honestly, right now he looks like a bird. Tatakai. Okay, first off, I really like this piece. It has a lot of potential. He looks evil, but in a smegsy way. And those juicy lips. But the first thing that I notice here is that the drawing is kind of a little bit too vertical. The face is fine. The proportions are fine. It's nice, actually. But it's kind of like he used one of those TikTok filters to make his face too slim. So what I'm going to do is paste it onto the canvas and just remove the background first because I want to. Okay, so eyes are one eye apart and this drawing got that right good job but i think that the eyes are a little bit too far away from the mouth just a little bit i'm gonna copy the face first so let's just liquefy the head real quick and then i'm gonna use the transform tool okay i kind of made it worse so i'm gonna paste the face again and just blend it in all right. Also, another tip, well, this depends on the angle, but the ears start from like around the eyebrows and then it ends on the nose if it's just front facing like this. So I'm just going to quickly liquefy that baby up. Anyway, this is the before and after. He kind of looks a bit chubbier, but honestly, I could have just brought the eyes down just a little bit and that would be fine as well. But you know, that's it. No more changes. You only really need very small changes to make him go from simple to very very simple. So anyway, for the remaining video, I'm gonna try to paint over this to show y'all how I would have done it in my art style. And you guys already know the first step. First step is to make him ball. Oh yes. So we're just moving the hair out of the way first. Kind of like how people wear headbands when they're doing makeup. I'm gonna start by airbrushing the eyes and just defining the eyebrows. I like them eyebrows thick. Trust the process. We gotta be patient, okay babies? Also, when you're trying to draw monolids, aka Asian eyes keep in mind that the shadow around the eyes work like this this is because people who have monolids have a lot of fat in their eyelids take it from me okay i got asian eyes so for the nose actually this is a pretty good drawing of the nose honestly this is like how noses look like in the front though it isn't my style to draw that kind of nose so i'm just gonna replace it okay no he looks like he's got really bad plastic surgery on his nose yeah okay i'm gonna remove that and go with a more simple nose. I'm gonna keep the left side untouched so you can see the difference. I'm basically just adding more details on the eyes. For the jaw, I'm gonna make it less sharp, but I still don't know yet. Okay, I'm gonna copy paste the other side. Work smart, not hard. Keep in mind that when you're copy pasting the other side, you still have to modify it or else your drawing is gonna look squinty eyed and weird. Honestly, right now he looks like a bird. Tatakai. So what I like to do with the triangles under the eyes, I like to brighten them up. Now this isn't something I made up, okay? People do this in real life with makeup. You brighten the triangular parts of the face so it would pop out more. Then just airbrush to blend it in. On another note, you'd think I'd be good at makeup since I'm an artist, right? But for some reason, I'm really bad at it. Anyway, I'm just yet again making the eyes my style. Same old trick that I use in my old videos. I'm not gonna focus much on this, okay? Because because I've probably said this in my old videos a bazillion times before. So now let's add the shadows. So this is what we got so far before and after. Real quick though, if you want to take your art to the next level, Skillshare is a very cool community for artists. There's a bunch of tutorials on how to do animation, graphic design, illustration, and more. All of that you can access for free just by subscribing to Skillshare. So I'm watching this dude right now, Jazza. This guy's a really popular YouTuber. I can only dream okay and he has these exclusive tutorials on skillshare and you can learn stuff like character design in just one r it's pretty great because like while you're watching the class and doing practices there's also a bunch of babies like you who share their progress so you're not alone listen skillshare got no ads and got subtitles in different languages plus they launch classes every week so there's always something new now get this you can try it out for free the first 1000 people who click the link in the description get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So click the link in the description below. So now let's do the hair. So the hair you made, it was okay. But personally, I would like add more volume. So a tip for putting more volume or curves is to add a little McDonald's in the hair. So you put this little M on the hairline and from there you can add the bangs. The M is gonna help with the curve of the hair. Okay, so let's just do the bangs real quick.
So I quickly just drew this very rough structure of the hair. Also like fix the ears a little bit. Then I added this temporary shirt. Ew. We'll definitely fix that abomination later though. And then I'm gonna put highlights as well. Also very rough. Just a quick before and after. Before he looked like a hot gangster. But now he looks like an evil student council president. Alright, now I'm gonna make it a bit more grayish. I don't advise people to like make super deep detailed hair like I'm doing now. Like I truly believe that this is little modern day torture for artists. I would not want to do it again, but I still do it anyway. Uh -huh. Literally just lasso to these little banana shapes and then airbrush. And from there, I'm just gonna shade it according to like the structure. I do have a detailed hair tutorial though. You can check that out. For the polo shirt, I grabbed a reference and just basically copied that. That's right folks, you should grab a reference even for the smallest things if you're not sure about it. See, it did improve the artwork a lot when the polo shirt was rendered properly. Okay, polishing makes a huge difference. This drawing went from yes sir, she'll be home at 7 to your daughter calls me daddy too. Now these are very subtle details that you can do to improve your art, okay? First I added a slightly gradient background just so it's not pure white. I also added a multiply layer to put a shadow around like this. And also, I made it just a little less saturated so it looks like this. For some reason, it looks cooler when it's desaturated. I have no idea why. They look like Smeg Z vampires. Okay, here's the original. And then when I change the proportions, and then here's when I change it a little bit to my art style, and then when I polished it. Okay, for those asking, I have no idea what this art style is called. For me, I I call it the Smegzy art style, but you know, it's more commonly known as the Manhua art style. I see it in a lot of those Manhua covers or Korean web novels, so yeah. Anyway, we got here some key points just to recap y'all. The first thing to do when you're fixing your art is to improve the proportions, okay? Eyes are one eye apart. Also, I kind of use a triangle as a guide to draw the face. Not too wide, but not too slim either. Just the perfect amount of Think. Now, if you want to turn it into the Manhua art style, aka Smexy art style, colors are not that vibrant, but honestly, you do you, man. Also, always grab a reference of something if you're not sure about it, okay? Even the smallest things, like I did with a polo shirt. It also helps to look at your art a day later, so you can view it with a fresh eye and see all your ugly mistakes. Anyway, watch this video next if you're a simp. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. If you like this video, go comment and share with your homies. And I'll see you in the next. Stay cool.